Hi guys, this is Rahul from Simply Learn, and today we're going to look at three very important data related roles in the field of data science, and then we're going to pit them against each other. So, welcome to Data Scientist versus Data Analyst versus Data Engineer. Now, let's have a look at what's in store for you. Firstly, we'll talk about the job descriptions, the skill sets required for each role, the salary, the roles and responsibilities, and the companies hiring for these positions. So, now let's have a look at each of these roles in detail. First off, let's have a look at Data Scientist. Now, a data scientist is a able to create machine learning based tools or processes within the company. Now they use advanced data techniques such as clustering, division trees, neural networks and so on so that they can derive business conclusions. They are the senior most member in the team which involves a data engineer as well as a data analyst. Now they need to have in-depth knowledge of statistics, data handling and machine learning. They also take inputs from data engineers as well as analysts so that they can formulate actionable insights for the business. Now data scientists also needs to have the same skills as a data analyst and an engineer but needs to have a lot more in-depth knowledge and expertise with these skills. Next Next up, we have data analyst. Now a data analyst is someone who is able to translate numeric data into a form that everyone in the organization can understand. Now this is an entry level position in the data analytics team. He or she needs to have technical skills in programming languages such as Python and have knowledge of tools like Excel and understand the basics of data handling, modeling and reporting. Now, in due time, they can move up the ranks by taking up roles of data engineer and data scientist with some experience that they can accumulate over the years. And finally, we have data engineer. Now, a data engineer is someone who is involved with pairing data, who is involved with preparing data for analytical or operational purposes. Now, they are the intermediary between the data analyst and the data scientist. He or she needs to have a lot of experience when it comes to developing, constructing and maintaining architectures. Now, they do generally work on big data and submit their reports to the data scientist so that they can be analyzed. Now let's have a look at the skill sets required for each of these roles. First off, we have data scientist. Now since this role is a little more coding oriented, you need to know a great deal when it comes to programming languages. Programming languages such as Python, R, SQL, SAS, Java and so on. Now you also need to be well versed with frameworks in relations to big data such as Pig, Spark and Hadoop. Speaking of Hadoop, if you want to learn more about how it works, I suggest you click on the top right corner and watch our video on what is Hadoop. Coming back, data Data scientists also need to be well versed with machine learning, deep learning and other similar technologies. Next up we have data analyst. Now this role is much less technical as compared to a data scientist as well as a data engineer considering how it's entry level. Here knowing programming languages is a great bonus. So an idea about programming languages such as Python, R, SQL, JavaScript, SSAS and so on is a great benefit. At the same time you do need to be well versed with tools such as SAS Miner, Microsoft Excel. SSAS, SPSS and so on. And finally, we have data engineer. Now being a data engineer requires you to be well versed with a bunch of programming languages as well as frameworks. Now you need to know about programming languages such as Python, R, SQL, SAS, Java and so on while having expertise in frameworks such as Hadoop, MapReduce, Hive, Pig, Apache Spark, Data Streaming, NoSQL and so on. Now let's talk about money or the salary each of these roles get. Firstly, we have the data scientist who earns a warp paying 137,000 US dollars per annum. Then we have the data analyst who earns 67,000 dollars per annum which is a pretty high salary when you consider that it's only an entry level job and a data engineer which is in the median with 116,000 US dollars per annum. Now let's talk about roles and responsibilities. Firstly we have the data scientist. Now a data scientist gets to work with a lot of unstructured data so they need to mine and clean the data so that it's usable. They need to be able to design machine learning models to work on the big data. They need to to infer and interpret the analysis on big data to be able to lead an entire team to achieve the goals of the organization and deliver conclusions that have a direct business impact. Now let's have a look at the roles and responsibilities of a data analyst. They need to use queries to gather information from a database. They need to process the data and provide summary reports. They need to use basic algorithms for their work such as linear regression, logistic regression and so on and have core skills in statistics, data munging, data visualization and exploratory data analysis. And finally we have data engineer. Now they need to mine through the data so that they can gain insights from it. They need to convert erroneous data 
data into a usable form so that they can be further analyzed. They need to write queries on data. They need to maintain the design as well as architecture of the data and create large data warehouses using ETL or Extract Transform Load. Now let's have a look at some of the companies hiring for this role. Firstly, for data scientists, you have Citibank, Facebook, Schneider, Intel, Amazon and so on. For data analysts, you have Infosys, Oracle, Visa, Capital One, Walmart and so on. And for data engineer, you have Google, Cisco, Flowcast, Cognizant, Apple, Spotify and much much more. So if all this has inspired you to get started with data science, I suggest you take Simply Learn certification. Now I'm choosing this certification because it acts as a great entry point for starting your career as a data analyst or a data engineer. Now with this certification, it goes through all the important concepts when it comes to data science and has 68 hours of in-depth learning, four real life industry based projects, interactive learning with Jupyter Notebooks and dedicated mentoring sessions from our faculty of industry experts. Now some of the concepts are you'll be going through statistical analysis and business applications, Python environment setup, mathematical computing with Python which is NumPy, SciPy, data manipulation with Pandas, machine learning with scikit-learn and so much more. So then you can start up on your step to becoming a data analyst, a data engineer and then eventually a data scientist. Now if you're already working as a data analyst or a data engineer, you can become a certified data scientist with Simply Learn's Data Scientist Master's program. This goes through all the important concepts that you need to know so that you can become a successful as well as certified data scientist. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. I hope this has inspired you to get certified and get ahead in your career. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.